Hey everybody, today I'm going to give you a rundown on how I make my farmhouse uh, faux shiplap signs. Uh, so stay tuned, let's take a look. So on this project, I'm using, I think it's a 5 mil poplar plywood that I got from Lowe's. Uh, it's something, it's pretty cheap. Uh, but I think it looks really good when you paint it black. So that's what I use on a lot of these farmhouse type style signs because uh, it's pretty quick to work with, it turns out good, and I even like some of the grain pattern that you can kind of see in the paint when they're done. Um, I'm using my Chinese 60 watt laser. I'll throw down a link in the description so that way you can take a look at it you can get the same one I have if you like uh, but I've done a lot of things with this laser so it's working out really well for me um, but yeah just watching these pieces get cut out and we'll jump over to paint here in a second So just a couple of tips as far as painting goes. You can see I'm using some masking tape. Really just kind of roll the ends over, stick those little pieces down so they're not blowing all over the place when you're spraying them with spray paint. Uh, other than that, try and go around the edges real quick just to make sure I'm getting all the way across and then filling in and making sure I'm covering back over my last line to try and get all the way over that. You know, just get good coverage. But with this ply, uh, it's pretty quick. I don't have a true stop block on my uh, miter station, so I just use a scrap piece and throw down uh, some double-sided tape on there to, to make sure that sticks down. And you can see I'm just cutting my boards down to 24 inch lengths uh, and then getting them all ready for the backers. And here, going into assembly, I've just used some scrap pieces, some wood glue, and some uh, pin nails to hold them together until that glue dries. And this was kind of an experiment on this one, just to see if it would work and how well it would hold up. Because honestly, the frame is going to do a lot of holding it together as well. And it worked out really well. They, they turned out pretty solid after that glue dried. And then adding the frame, they were, they were rock solid. You can see the stack of them there. Um, so most of the frame pieces that I'm using, I've just used scrap 2x4s and things that I have around the shop, cut them down uh, so they're 3 quarter inch thick, and I mean just similar to like your 1x material. Uh, sometimes I use 1x, other times that I have extra 2x4 sitting around the shop, that's what I'll use uh, just to kind of use up as much as I can. I like to be efficient and uh, use up as much material as possible not making a whole lot of scrap. Um, I use uh, Minwax. It is an uh, espresso stain on these. Um, I use brush sometimes. Sometimes I use just you know towels and wipe it in. Um, it all comes out pretty similar. Uh, if you use a brush, it kind of goes on a little bit thicker, and sometimes I'll have to wipe off some of the excess. Just making sure I'm getting all around. That way uh, it looks nice and clean. Uh, one of the tools that I just recently got is this cordless brad nailer. Love it. Uh, it makes things really nice. I'm not pulling around hoses all the time. Uh, but on these, I glue and nail on all of the, the frame pieces. That way everything is nice and tight together. It's solid when it's done. Um, here you can see I'm using D-rings and just some wire uh, for those those hangers on the back. Uh, and then on the front, I use super glue, the Loctite stuff that, I mean, you'll see Dave Taylor uh, and Lizzie from the House of Timber all use it. Uh, it's my favorite. It works great. And there you go, some beauty shots, a little flyover.
honestly, I, I love how these turned out. Um, using that, it's a trim board. It's like a one by four. So, I mean, the true measurements is, you know, three quarter of an inch by three and a half. And it really gives a good shiplap look. So I think that's how I'm going to keep doing them from here on out. So a lot of the tips and tricks that I've shown, uh, they kind of apply for both uh, using a, a laser or the CNC router. I mean, you just got to cut your pieces out and then the backers, the frames, all that kind of stuff is more of your manual work. Um, so you can use it pretty much the same thing, same uh, tutorial, same tips uh, for however you're using, you know, however you're cutting out your materials, you know, whether you're using the router or whether you're using a laser. Uh, so thanks for stopping by. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, that way you can know when I'm coming out with another video. Uh, I plan on doing videos on all the projects that I, I make. So thanks guys. See you later.